this video, I'm going to give you a little tour of Kachina Village. At Village Land Shop, we have sold and listed more homes in Kachina Village than any other agency in Flagstaff. So, without further ado, here we go. Hello, my name is Katanya Hartwell with Village Land Shop and LiveTheFlagstaffLife.com. I'm a local realtor serving Flagstaff and the surrounding areas. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button to bookmark this channel and click on the bell to receive notifications of future content. I am standing here at the Village Land Shop office in Kachina Village and today there's still snow on the ground from some snow we had a couple weeks ago. I'm going to walk to a nearby park and show you a little bit about what's going on there. This park is located right behind our offices, so when I'm in my office, I get to look out the window and see families there playing. There's some playground equipment, swings, slides, monkey bars. There's a rock climbing wall shelter that you can rent from the county and there's a pretty mild hill right by the uh, right by the baseball field There's some restrooms right here and a nice parking area. I'm over here at Raven County Park and as you can see there's plenty of snow on the ground even though it hasn't snowed for over a week. The shade here has kept it from melting. There's plenty of room here to make snowmen, have snowball fights, sled, snow tube, and there's a family that just walked past me. They said they're going to um, the better hill, a nice big hill, so I'm going to take a walk over there and see if I can catch them over there. So if you continue north on Kachina Trail, go around the corner to where Kachina Trail meets Ancient Trail, and just before you get there on the left you'll see this very large hill, uh, and it sleds down into an area of pump house wash. It's not really recommended to park here on the side of the road. Most people park back at the Raymond County Park in that parking lot and walk over. There is also a parking area right on the corner of Ancient Trail and Kachina. This hill goes pretty high and can get a little bit steep at the top. You can see that the sliders are getting quite a bit of speed there, having a lot of fun. I made another video um, on where to go to have snow fun and this wasn't in it, but you can check that one out. I'll put a, a card up there so you can click on it. This shopping center is back in the city of Flagstaff. It's a Bashes and Walmart anchored shopping center. There are a number of restaurants and retail businesses in here. There's Papa Murphy's, Take and Bake Pizza, Urgent Care, Chiropractic Care, Coin Up Laundry. The shopping center is seven to eight miles from Kachina Village, depending on where you live in Kachina. And there's a Sprouts Anchor shopping center that is also seven to eight miles away from Kachina Village. It's just on Milton Road rather than off Milton Road a little ways. So here we are driving south on I-17 from Flagstaff and the Kachina Village exit. When you get 
off at the exit, there is a gas station there with a subway. And if you were to turn left there, you would go into Mountain Air, and I'll make another video about Mountain Air, so check that one out when it gets there. Kachina Village is about 700 acres. It is a larger area of land than Mountain Air. And a fairly new addition to Kachina is this Dollar General. Now, it's not a dollar store. It is a Dollar General. It has food and some of the staples. People enjoy being able to grab staples they may have forgotten at uh, Bashes or Sprouts or even Safeway. This is Raymond County Park again. And we're going north here into Kachina. Uh, you could go south in, into um, the southeast part of Kachina. So as we turn here onto Ancient Trail, we are driving right alongside of the Pump House Wash. Pump House Wash is there on the left, and there are trails down there, which, you know, you can get some snowshoes and hike the trails in the winter. Uh, but there are a lot of fun in the spring and the summer and the fall. There are about 1,400 housing units and roughly 3,000 people in Kachina Village. The medium home in 2019 sold for 300,000. And here we're turning left on Tanalia and a quick right onto Redfield Trail. Kachina Village has incredibly unique properties. Some of them are built on a hill. You can see these stone pillars holding up a deck and parking underneath. There's more traditional homes that you'll see in Kachina Village as well, but it's definitely not a cookie cutter neighborhood. Some of the homes do have garages, some of them don't. Now here I've turned on Moki OV. This is a little cul-de-sac. There are some smaller homes in here and a little bit larger homes. And many of these homes here, they back forest land. When you get a home that backs forest land, you will pay a little bit of a premium for those. start back over at the entrance heading north on Kachina Trail. And we're going to stay on Kachina Trail. And take a left on Kona Trail. Here's another little side street. You can see the snow has fully melted off of this side street. Now all the streets get plowed in the winter, but some of them the snow doesn't melt fully, and that would depend on where the shade is. So you can compare this one to the little cul-de-sac Mokiovi, where the snow had not fully melted, but on this one the snow has. And continuing back on Kona Trail, there's a very unique property coming up. It is the old firehouse as of January 7th, the publishing of this video. It is still for sale. Now it is being sold as a residential property. The firehouse had a conditional use permit, so it's not a commercial building. It is a residential building. There it is. You'll find smaller homes, one bedroom homes, and larger homes, five to six bedroom homes, there are a lot of A-frames, and many of the homes have a cabin feel. Construction in Katrina Village started in the late 60s, so it has been around for a while. The median property size is about a quarter of an acre. They range all the way from an eighth of an acre up to four acres. People love to live in Kachina Village because you're surrounded by the Coconino National Forest. You have a small cabin in the woods up to a more custom luxury style home in the pines. 
and you're out of the hustle and bustle of the traffic you get from visitors and sightseers and NAU students, all your local city traffic. Even though you're outside of the city, Kachina Village has a private water and sewer company, so you have all the amenities of easy indoor plumbing. Another thing people really like about Kachina Village is that there are no street lights. So you can walk out and see the stars very easily. And because Flagstaff is a dark sky city, you also don't get a lot of light pollution from the city. There is the Forest Road 237 where a lot of people like to take their ATVs out, go four-wheeling. You can hike on the many trails in Katina Village, walk around the wetlands. It's a very rich riparian environment. You can see blue heron, bald eagles, red-tailed hawks, blackbirds, all kinds of wildlife. You'll see elks out here. A little bit later we're going to be heading into a manufactured home zoned area. The majority of homeowners there own the land that their manufactured home sits on. There is also a mobile home park where you could potentially get into a mobile home that is renting the space in the mobile home park. I'm just going to go ahead and let the music play. You can fast forward or slow down the video and just see what Kachina Village has to offer. back at the corner of Kona Trail and Kachina Trail. We're going to get back on Kachina Trail and head over to the area that is zoned for manufactured homes. closer together. Another thing about Katina Village, it is considered a rural area and you can qualify for USDA loans. The nice thing about USDA loans is that you don't have to put any money down if that's something you need.
have it, a tour of Katina Village in the winter a week and a half after it snowed. If you like this video or you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, share it with someone else who might like it, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. See you next time.